Hello and welcome to a very short video. Uh, this one is uh, to introduce a new feature which allows us to uh, use program change within Copperhead. Now to use the program change and bank switch feature you need to arrange all your presets in, in banks and sub-banks and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now if we take a look at the program manager you'll see that everything is arranged in banks and those banks contain groups and every group contains a number of presets and uh, although this is convenient for changing uh, preset within the actual uh, copperhead itself um, it's not so convenient if you want to change via program change and as most of you know uh, program change only supports up to 127 uh, different values so in order to be able to access all your presets we have to perform some kind of bank switching and I'm going to talk through how to do that today so if we take a look at the main menu and uh, pick open window right at the bottom here there's a new option which opens this preset bank assignment window now we could choose which bank we want using uh, the bank button if we press the bank button we get a slider that can go all the way up to from 0 to 127 banks we could also change the sub bank and that can also go up to 127 so that gives us roughly 16,000 presets we can add here and it's just a question of taking all your favorite presets and simply dragging them out of the uh, main um, program manager and uh, dropping them into position into the various bank sub bank and uh, numeric position uh, within this uh, bank assignment window so typically when we want to address one of these we just fire off a bank number a sub bank number and then a preset offset now we can double tap on any of these options in this window to switch patch so if you want to see what the patch sounds like that's already in there just double tap the, the patch to delete just swipe to the left or if you swipe all the way to the left you don't even have to confirm now that's great if you want to create a custom bank with various presets from various groups but if we want to quickly uh, bring in a whole bunch of presets we can hit this preset to bank button and uh, and very quickly just uh, pulling any category of presets we want so I pulled in the spider Midas uh, apps bank here and uh, this window now is uh, populated with all the presets from that bank and they're all conveniently there in bank zero sub bank zero ready for us to actually call up using a MIDI command now in order to test this out I'm going to use a copy of surface builder which can uh, fire off keys and uh, also program changes I have a stepper control here and uh, that stepper control can step through the presets for me So just by advancing uh, through uh, these presets in the stepper control uh, we have control over all those presets we put in bank not sub bank not now as well as being able to control um, the preset the bank change we should also be able to with this XY pad control the volume and pan but you're not hearing anything at the minute because we need to go into uh, Copperhead and uh, turn on this option here to enable full CC control. If you don't have that on, then it'll ignore most of the controllers. Now we can, we've got full pan control and full volume control externally via, via MIDI. If we hit the edit mode on surface builder and zoom in a little bit uh, we can click on the stepper and we can see the controls and how they're set up 
we're using program change and we're using bank zero sub bank zero now we're outputting to midi port one and uh, midi channel one and uh, the the value knob uh, here we we that's going to be set by the uh, stepper control as it changes value now if you want to target different uh, presets from different groups we can use a set of buttons uh, I've got a couple of buttons here one called strings the other one called app lead and uh, that very quickly uh, changes patch within copperhead and the important thing to note here is that both of these patches are from different banks so if in theory we could have a uh, you know a thousand of these buttons that all to change to whichever patches were your favorites um, now let's just have a quick look at the uh, properties just to see how these are set up so the strings button is referencing patch one from bank zero uh, sub bank one and the app lead is referencing program one from uh, bank zero sub bank zero so that's it for this video i said it would be short um but it's it's nice for me to actually explain to you how it works so don't forget to thumb up the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time